Hello, I hope this video finds you well. Tonight we are diving into string 2, um, and we're going to look at double char, and this is the Python solution. So the difference between string 1 and string 2 is that in string 2 we start introducing loops. And the easiest way to establish if you need a loop in a problem like this is to ask yourself, do I have to point at each element and make a decision or do something? So this problem states, given a string, return a string where for every char in the original there are two chars. So we see here double char T-H-E gives me T-T-H-H-E-E. -E. A A B B gives me A A A A B B B B and high dash there gives me and we can see that they've just duplicated every element. So one of the things I talk about with the students about is what's called a bread and butter algorithm. And I call this a bread and butter algorithm. For I in range zero, comma L E N of S T R, comma one. And this would be your code block. So what is this? This is essentially a loop that will look at every index of a string, and this works for lists as well, and it works like this. I will be set to zero, and I will continue as long as it's less than len str. And since we know that the number, the elements are indexed zero to the length minus one, this will cover every element in a string. So if we take a look at the first example here, and we have the, that has a length equal to 3, and has indexes 0, 1, 2. So if we imagine this loop running, I would be set to 0, and we'd say, is 0 less than 3? And that's true, so we run the loop. So what do we want to do? We want to make a new string, and we want to put the first character twice. That's tt. Then I would become 1, and we'd say, is 1 less than 3? And that's true, so we would run our loop. And so we take our new string, which now has tt in it from the previous run, and we're going to add hh. So then i becomes 2, we say is 2 less than 3, that's true, we run our loop. So new string becomes, well we already have tthh in there, and we're going to add ee. Then i becomes 3, is 3 less than 3, and that's false, and therefore we exit the loop. So what we're taking advantage of here is simply string construction. So to solve this problem, we simply start off by making a new string, and we make it empty. And now we'll write a loop that will go through every index. So for i in range, 0, length of str, 1, and all I'm going to say is new str is equal to new str plus str at i plus str at i. So we're using this loop to look at each element, and then we're adding it twice to this string that we're constructing. And then finally we return new str. And I hit go, and that's it. Now I often get comments like this in my videos, people say, oh, there's a shortcut you can do to, to simplify this, and that's totally true. Um, we can actually take this loop, and let's actually comment this out, and we'll make a second version of it. So I'm going to take this, and we're going to just, we're going to use a, sh a Python shorthand notation for the loop here. And that shorthand notation is for i in range LENSTR. Oh, oh, I have an indentation. There we go, there you go, and notice that it works. And yes, there are lots of shorthand notations you can use in Python in order to simplify this loop. The reason why I stress this loop so much with beginning programmers is that this loop translates really nice to Java. So, I hope this video helped. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to reach out. Remember, you can find all my solutions on my GitHub repository. Have a great day.